today bring to me the souls who especially venerate and glorify my mercy and reminds them in my mercy. This soul sold most over my passion and enter most deeply into my spirit. They are living images of my compassionate hearts. These souls will shine with a special brightness in the next life. Not one of them will go into the fire of hell. I shall particularly defend each one of them at the hour of death. Most merciful Jesus, whose heart is love itself, receive into the abode of your most compassionate heart the souls of those who particularly extol and venerate the greatness of your mercy. These souls are mighty with the very power of God himself. In the midst of all afflictions and adversities, they go forward. Confident of your mercy and united to you, O Jesus, they carry all mankind on their shoulders. These souls will not be judged severely, but your mercy will embrace them as they depart from this life. A soul who praises the goodness of her Lord is especially loved by Him. She is always close to the living fountain and draws graces for mercy divine. Eternal Father, turn your merciful gaze upon the souls who glorify and venerate your, your greatest attributes, that of your fathomless mercy, and who are enclosed in the most compassionate heart of Jesus. These souls are a living gospel. Their hands are full of deeds of mercy, and their hearts overflowing with joy. Sing a canticle of your of mercy to you, O Most High. I beg you, O God, show them your mercy according to the hope and trust they have placed in you. Let there be accomplished in them the promise of Jesus, who said to them, I myself will defend as my own glory during their lifetime and especially at the hour of, de of their death, those souls who will venerate my fathomless mercy. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. You expired, O Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth the souls and an ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fount of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, 
the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. 
for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Mm -hmm. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair, nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today is the day seven of a Divine Mercy Novena. We shall be reflecting on what I have titled, Today I Must Eat in Your House. Many of us are familiar with church's life, with prayers, novena, devotions, liturgy, etc. However, the temptation is that we may just be familiar with all of these without having a lively, genuine, intimate and personal relationship with Jesus. What is most important to God is that we have a relationship with Him. He wants to abide in us and with us. He wants a friendship that is tangible and alive. Jesus wanted to be in the house of Zacchaeus so that they can become more intimate, get to share experiences. 
Whatever Zacchaeus needed to know, he cannot learn on the sycamore tree. They must be in his house, and then he will understand better. Many of us are on the tree looking at Jesus as he walks by, as he touches people's lives, and we observe, we analyze from afar. Jesus says, come down and let me be your guest. It is not just about coming to church, it is about the head of the church coming to you, coming into your life, into your situation, into your home. Wait a minute, can Jesus even stay in your home? Is it spiritually tidy? What is your house like? If Jesus wants to live with you, what will you need to fix? Do you want to begin to fix it from now? Jesus wants to be your guest, even today. He wants to be your friend. He wants to be Lord in your life, and it is urgent.